দর্শক ছোট্ট একটা বিরতির পরে আবারও ফিরে এলাম বেলা শেষের আজকের আয়োজনে আপনাদের সাথে আছি আমি অর্চি রহমান এবং আমাদের সাথে স্টুডিওতে উপস্থিত আছেন ভুটানের চলচ্চিত্রের অন্যতম তারকা চলচ্চিত্রের অভিনেত্রী উগিয়ান চৌরান চলে যাচ্ছে আবারও তার কাছে ইন টু থাউজেন্ড ইউ স্টার্টেড your career in films right mm-hmm. um, yes. but you wanted to be a news presenter right <laughs> yeah so how did that happen oh my god you got all my information <laughs> yeah i had to do that <laughs> okay actually when i was studying i thought of becoming a journalist okay because i am inspired by a few of the journalists in television so i thought when i grow up i will become one of them okay. but uh, later um, i made a choice of becoming an actor when my first director wang chutalu he offered me a role in his movie called pemi sawatashi okay it's a periodic movie mm-hmm. where i had to play the role of fuchuzam So from there I started my career and I left my job. I had a small job in travel agent yeah. as the office assistant. Mm-hmm. I left tourist that counselor. Job. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's under tourism of Bhutan. Okay. I was working there as an OA and when that director he offered me a role in his film then I quit quit my job and then from there I started my career in movies. Okay. I thought your first film was Lok Show. Yeah. Uh, it is lok show means uh, it's uh, returning of that uh, lok show means uh, as i told you pemi sawatashi is a periodic movie okay. but uh, in other word we can say lok, lok show. show okay yeah. lok tell show means come the, back tell us about that film what is your character uh, in that f- film my character was i was a uh, wife of that chamberlain warrior chamberlain okay. pemi sawatashi where he had to go to war and he never returns and uh, i had to wait for him my whole life wasted like that and uh, in ne- in new generation in next generation okay. and the, uh, there was another actor called shara plamo she took my place and she played the next generation role okay. and i played the previous generation of puchuzam okay then uh, what was your second film second film was um chogil den den dup okay. it was produced by noling dayang okay and there i played the lead role of metto chen okay i can be wrong but i came to know that um, in bhutan Mm-mm. you don't have any acting school right yes you don't uh, have how did you learn acting actually in bhutan all the f- film makers they are self taught Okay. Yeah, self so wow. directors and producers, even actors. I as being woman, what I feel is it's really difficult for me, especially from a very normal family. And uh, when I came to film industry, it was really difficult for me to handle all of this. But uh, I don't have acting skills. I mean, I didn't uh, get trained didn't from anywhere. Yeah, yeah, I didn't learn. It was uh, self taught uh, because uh, I was interested in acting. Yeah. that's why it's all about passion and uh, courage that you have yeah. if you have courage confidence and interest you can learn everything mm. so by now i feel i made a right choice by entering film industry yeah uh, and when was that time when uh, you decided uh, you want to do uh, many many more films and uh, you want to pursue your uh, career as a, an as an actor it was uh, when i got offer from several directors okay i got inspired mm-hmm. and i thought like okay now i can be actor though we face lot of criticism in film association yeah yeah as being public figure we all know we yeah. have to face lots of criticism we yeah. have to take all all the shits all the rubbish thing all the but, uh, but no matter how good you do there will be always the people who don't like you who want to yeah. pull you down who don't uh, feel happy for you no matter what you do so uh, it's really difficult to be an actor mm-hmm. but uh, when i got several r- roles in film and movies i thought now i can continue my journey because mm-hmm. i feel i'm strong enough to face all the criticisms and all the even uh, some fans yeah. they are really proud of us and of we course. can be the mm-hmm. model of our country we can be a good ambassador of our tiny country called bhutan so i feel uh i can continue this journey as an actor definitely <laughs> and uh, what do you do to prepare yourself for a role especially whenever i get role i sit back and think 
about it. Okay. If the script is good, then the, I accept that role and I prepare. Okay. I go through the script and I see myself whether I am fit for that role or not. Yeah. And from there I start whether to uh, accept that role or not. It's like that. Yeah. And everyone has their own acting skills, right? Okay. Uh, yeah. So what's your? Whenever I get role in a movie, uh, I just forget that I'm Ugin Chodin. I'm yeah. living someone's life. Yeah. And uh, I give my 100%. Best, let's yeah. say 101 person. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you have also produced a film. Yeah. Uh, yes, tell I us did. about that. Actually, to be an actor, producer and director in a tiny country, it's really difficult. As you know, in the whole world, we have very less number of uh, the female director and producer yeah, yeah. as compared That's to true, men. Yeah. So I got inspired by those women who did well in movies. So I thought, why not I can do a direction? My dream was to direct a film. Okay. So I did that in 2019. And okay. I am really proud of myself to say that I did it. Though I faced a lot of challenges while shooting because you know yeah. I had to take the role of actress, producer and director. It's yeah. really tough for me but I did it mm -hmm. and um, I feel we should uh, give uh, inspiration to those women who are less fortunate than us. I tried my best to prove that we can do it. Women can do the yes. uh, do direction as well produce and act. We can do all in one if you have a will and that determination. Yeah, You can do anything. Yes. <laughs> we will talk more about your journey okay. in films, uh, but after a short break. Sure. প্রিয় দর্শক নিয়ে নিচ্ছি ছোট্ট আরেকটা বিরতি ফিরে আসছে এক্ষুনি আবার আমাদের আজকের অতিথির কাছে আমাদের সাথেই থাকবেন দর্শক ছোট্ট আরেকটা বিরতির পরে আবারও ফিরে এলাম বেলা শেষের আজকের আয়োজনে আপনাদের সাথে আছি আমি অর্চি রহমান এবং আমাদের সাথে স্টুডিওতে উপস্থিত আছেন ভুটানিস চলচ্চিত্রের অন্যতম তারকা চলচ্চিত্রের অভিনেত্রী উগিয়ান চৌডান কথা বলছিলাম তার সাথে চলে যাচ্ছে আবারও তার কাছে ইউ আর টকিং অ্যাবাউট ফিল্ম দ্যাট ইউ ডিরেক্টেড দিস ইয়ার রাইট টেল আস অ্যাবাউট দ্যাট দি ফিল্ম হুইচ আই ডাইরেক্টেড দিস ইয়ার ইস খুজু থ্রিং ওকে is the name of Bert. Kuju is the name of Bert and Tsring is the name of the actress, the yeah. character. And I am the actress in that film. I directed this film and also produced by myself because I thought uh, there will be, um, cost of production will be less. So I took all the role, <laughs> being mm -hmm. selfish, but uh, I am minimizing the budget because okay. uh, producer as a producer director as a producer we should know about budgeting and marketing yeah, strategy, yeah, st yeah. strategy. Yeah. and as a director we should um, also like uh, it's an experience for me yeah. and uh, as a director i can learn lots of things yeah so i took the role of director producer and actress and this movie it uh, went well it's still screening in bhutan okay uh, for last I think two and a half months okay. I have been How is it going? It's going fairly well. It's uh, still running and I'm very proud of my team. Yeah. Not only me, in this film I had a very experienced uh, cameraman, okay. Mr. Zain Chodoji. He helped me a lot and all the artists are senior artists. Yeah. Yeah, that's why they didn't give me hard times. I could uh, do it uh, very mm -hmm. professionally with their help and yeah. it went well. And also um, I feel like it's a uh, direct uh, film in yeah. tiny country is a turning major turning point in my life and a okay. big and great accomplishment yeah you uh, you did uh, face any difficulties when you directed a film yes i i i faced a lot of challenges because it's my first time okay and uh, in bhutan i think i am the second women director woman wow, director wow. and uh, it's uh, i i faced lots of problem regarding before i can before I was taking the role of producer yeah. and actor. 
and when I enter the world of direction, as a director, you have to take lots of responsi responsibilities. responsibilities. Yeah. As a director, you are the architect and the carpenter of that uh, typical house that we are yeah. building. So we have to be very, very careful and we have to see all the people who are working under you. You have to take the role of director, producing, acting. So it gave me hard time, but with the help of all the seniors, senior yeah. members who are working with me, they helped me, helped me and uh, I, I can say that it was okay. It was worth it. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, this year, earlier this year, uh, you also worked in a music video called Gori Gori. Uh, yes. Tell us about that. And did you uh, learn uh, dancing? Mm. Okay. Actually, as an actor, we should be very versatile. Yeah. Uh, and uh, when I got offer from Nepal, the Roshan Tamang, uh, the director and the producer, yeah. and Trakindra. There are lots of uh, people who are involved in that project, Guri Guri 2. Mm -hmm. It was a music album with one of the very popular and most happening actor in Nepal, Paul Shah. Okay, I used yeah. to watch his uh, albums when I was studying. I saw that video, yeah. yeah. And uh, when they offered me a role, I, it's not hard for me to speak Nepali. Yeah. We yeah. call it Tlo We okay. Even in Bhutan, we have a uh, certain community who speak Tlo yeah. So it's same language, so it was not a barrier. Language barrier barrier was not there, so it was easy for me, mm -hmm. and I accepted, and it went well. Yeah. And they love our Bhutan, our culture, and unique uh, traditions, so uh, it did well. Yeah, it's and a I was song, yeah, I was really happy that they offered me a role there as an uh, India album as an actress. Gori gori, gori gori, gori gori. Chale bana yo, manai hal chal bana yo. Gori gori, timro ma yale. Malai chan chale bana yo, manai hal chal bana yo. Can you tell us about um, Bhutanese film industry? Uh, it has changed a lot throughout the whole time. Uh, okay. How was it? Actually, Bhutan Film Association is growing rapidly yeah. because now in Bhutan, people are taking interest in our films because we don't have other movies affecting our traitors. Yeah. We have only Bhutanese movie screening in traitors. So most of the Bhutanese people, they enjoy our unique culture and traditions. So we make movie based on that yeah. uh, where we can preserve our culture and traditions. So people, they enjoy and uh, one thing is we don't have impact of Bollywood anymore. Okay. Before we had, during 90, before 1990s, mm -hmm. we have lots of Bollywood and Hollywood in our theaters. Yeah. Now slowly people, they change their mindset. Mm -hmm. Because when the great filmmakers, they make good films, people, uh, they change their mindset. Yeah. And uh, they love our own product. Mm -hmm. our country made movies so now it's in uh, coming up gradually and we ha got help from our government agent government and his majesty okay. we are building up studio also because it was gifted by our majesty so our industry is coming up and yeah. people they watch our movies mm -hmm. more than i think uh, uh, more than hindi movies before they used to watch lots of hindi movies yeah, yeah, and definitely. they are impacting yeah. our culture mm -hmm. also now we don't have their movies so yes if you want to watch you can watch at your home in your tv you can subscribe but in theaters and cinema halls we don't have that's mm -hmm. why uh, i think movie industry will go far than uh, far beyond yeah, true. I, definitely. I, I just, I hope just hope, yeah, yeah, it will run very successfully in near future. Yeah. So tell us about your upcoming films or projects. Actually, I, currently I'm doing a project called uh, An Evening in Seoul. We have okay. shooted 80% of the shooting in Seoul and Busan. It's in Korea. Mm -hmm. And 25% 20 20 in Bhutan. I'm still shooting that film, yeah. but uh, in between I had to come here and uh, I stopped that. When I go back, I will continue mm -hmm. shooting and it will be releasing soon in February or March. If you get any offer or uh, any chance to work in Hollywood, what response uh, it would be? 
Tollywood, actually, yes, uh, short movies and documentaries, they have okay. approached me last time also, but uh, I didn't get time yeah. and I thought over it and it's going to take time and uh, as being a woman, independent woman, it's very difficult for me to manage time. Yeah, if it true. is feature film, I would have signed and I, I would have did that also, Done. but uh, <laughs> nobody turned off. Yeah. And short films and documentaries, yes, they approach and uh, maybe in you future. You are interested um, in those, right? Yeah, okay. maybe in future we can okay. work together. Yeah, we are hoping for that and okay, uh, sure. again, absolutely loved it i am in love with you already i <laughs> loved you. you so much thank you. and thank talking you so to you much. it's my pleasure uh, thank you so much for coming here today <laughs> hope okay. to see you soon or meet you soon uh, sure and thank you all all the uh, viewers for lis uh, listening and uh, watching our show today thank you thank you so much okay <laughs> প্রিয় দর্শক আজকের মতো এখানে শেষ করছি বেলা শেষের আয়োজন আবারও দেখা হবে নতুন আরেকটি আয়োজনে নতুন আরেকটি পর্বে নতুন অতিথিকে সাথে নিয়ে সে পর্যন্ত আপনারা সবাই ভালো থাকবেন সুন্দর থাকবেন সুস্থ থাকবেন এসএসিপির পর্দায় চোখ রাখবেন